Hi guys, I'm Joanna with Custom Quilts and today I'm going to show you how to do a really quick, fun, free motion quilting motif that involves some swirls and some little feathers. And so um, first, what you're going to do is you're going to make a little swirl. Okay, so we've made our little swirl and whenever you come out of it, you're going to go straight into a feather. And so now we've looped our little feather around and we're going to echo around that uh, really closely and we're going to make another one. So bring it down. Okay, so now we've echoed around that first feather. Now we're going to make another feather and echo around that one. And this is much easier to do with two hands on the, the handlebars of the long arm, but uh, my other handlebar gets in the way of the camera, and so I've moved it back out of the way, so that's why my feathers look a little bit sloppy. So now we're gonna make another feather. And then go echo back around. And so you're just gonna keep doing that until you fill your space, uh, whatever, negative space you have with the quilting motif. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one. So I'm going to start with a swirl and then I'm going to go straight into my feathers. Okay, there's one. There's three. And you can customize the feathers. Sometimes I'll only do two little feathers. Sometimes I'll do four, just depending on how much space I have to fill. But uh, that's it. That's all you have to do. And uh, if, I'm, if I have a really tight space and I don't have enough room to do one of these, I'll go in and do like an extra little swirl and go out of that uh, into my next negative space that I have like this. So let's say that was a really tight spot that I didn't have a, any room for feathers. I just quilted a little swirl. Now I'm gonna come out of that where I have more room and do a swirl with feathers. And sometimes I like to do a little hook off the end of my swirl like I'm doing right now and then go back around to help free the space or fill the space. So on that one, I did four little feathers. I have not much space here, so I'm gonna come back and do a small one. You can make your feathers as fat or as thin as you want to. I like mine to be pretty plump, just because I like the way that it looks. And then I'm gonna go right into my next swirl. And if you wanna add a little bit of visual interest, you can vary the sizes so you can see like this swirl is fairly large and then this one next to it is smaller. So if you want to kind of give a, you know, a more unique look, you can do different sizes of little swirly feathers uh, to, to change it up a little bit.
Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is once you're like once you're quilting on the outside, sometimes it can be difficult to go back to a negative space area that you've missed. So I like to echo around these feathers because it kind of disguises your travel path. It's not very noticeable. And so that's what I'm doing now so that I can get back in here and quilt this space. Okay, I think I wanna start right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and come out of this and do my swirl. And I'm gonna do a little hook to fill that space. Then go into my feathers. Yeah, so that's how I went and quilted that, and now I can come back over here and start following this path to fill this area. I think I'm actually going to come quilt over here first. So uh, right here, I'm probably, I can either go ahead and come out of this and do another swirl, but it might look kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and add another feather uh, plume, I believe. Then come out of that, do a swirl. So that looks really nice and I'm using Quilters Dream wool batting to really make the quilting pop and this is a fun motif that you can do on solids or you know a fun print uh, but just know that whenever you're quilting this on a print this is a pretty busy quilting motif and so if you're quilting this on a really complicated quilt pattern with lots of different prints it's gonna get lost and it's gonna compete with the the complicated prints and the busy fabric so I like to do this on uh, solid fabric whenever I really want it to pop. So yeah, I hope you'll give it a try. And uh, I will say the slower you go, the worse your feathers are probably going to look. So if you're tense when you start quilting, kind of let go and um, just relax and have a good time with it. All right, good luck, guys. Hope you'll try it.